Hello everyone. This session is a very, very important session. Why I am saying so? Because as the name suggests, everything and anything about CUT. So what is actually CUT? Why it is important? Why it has become such a big thing? Why you should give CUT, right? Whatever you are doing, whether you are doing your uh, 11, 12th from commerce stream, humanity stream, science stream, what are your, whatever your aspirations are, there is, there is uh, something in CUT for every student from every background. If you are from commerce, humanities, science, you will get wonderful courses for all these domains. Whether you want to do uh, something in hotel management, tourism management, there is something in CUT for everyone. So welcome again. Everything about CUT. So I will run through this session and tell you about why it is important, what are the various universities, important universities under CUT, and so many other information. So let, let, let's let's go and uh, you know follow this session very religiously. First and foremost, what is CUT? CUT is a gateway to your dream college, as you can see in this slide. It's a gateway to your dream college. Obviously, you want to do undergraduate course after your 12th. CUT is common university entrance test. Uh, it is CUT UG. So there is CUT PG also for postgraduate programs uh, in, in Indian universities. So I will be uh, discussing about CUT vis-a-vis -vis 2024 CUT is concerned. So CUT is a gateway, gateway to your dream college. And also there are many other top university exams are also there which which you should consider while preparing for CUT. So what was UG admissions in India till 2021? So I'm primarily talking of UG admissions vis-a-vis uh, -vis Delhi University is concerned. So Delhi University mein hota kya tha? Hum engineering ki as of now baat nahi kar rahe hain. Medicine ki as of now baat nahi kar rahe hain. B.Tech ki MBBS, right? हम बात कर रहे हैं लेट्स से बीकॉम ऑनर्स अगर किसी ने श्रीराम कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स में करना है या किसी ने अगर बीए ऑनर्स इंग्लिश या बीए ऑनर्स इकोनॉमिक्स फ्रॉम टॉप नॉच कॉलेज अंडर डेली यूनिवर्सिटी करना है सो व्हाट वाज इट टिल 2021 सो टिल 2021 मेनी टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज इंक्लूडिंग डेली यूनिवर्सिटी लुक्ड एट क्लास 12th मेरिट सो आपके जो 11 12th में आपके जो सब्जेक्ट्स होते थे और 12th में जो आपने बोर्ड्स के एग्जाम्स दिए उस में क्या मेरिट है कितना परसेंटेज परसेंटेज बेस पर कट ऑफ डिसाइड होता था टिल 2021 स्पेशली प्रोग्राम्स लाइक बीए बी कॉम एट्सेट्रा राइट कट ऑफ्स इंक्रीज्ड 1% एवरी ईयर ऑन एन एवरेज सो आई रिमेंबर कट ऑफ ऑफ लेट्स से एसआरसीसी का बीकॉम ऑनर्स का कट ऑफ ऑन द मोस्ट सॉट आफ्टर प्रोग्राम अंडर डेली यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर बीकॉम 90% 91% 92% 92% साल वही परसेंट बढ़ रहा था हम देखते थे न्यूज़ until further increase not possible. So what is the meaning of this line? Until further increase not possible. I mean, it, from 90 to 91 to 92 to 93, so on 90 and 99. And eventually, ek bar news bhi aaya tha, ke first cutoff for BCom honors in SSCC was 100% marks in, in your 12th board. So until further increase not possible means 100% say so hook obviously possible nahi hai percentage. So is level ka competition cutoff tha. And there was difference among boards. Obviously, someone from CBSC board, someone from a state board, marking scene may difference as CBSC board. Prefer, uh, you know, in comparison to various state boards, zada easy scoring hota hai, right? Different subjects meant unequal chances. Someone from, let's say, PCM background, physics, chemistry, maths background. So physics, chemistry, maths, maths, just a paper hai. Is may marks lana as compared to a paper like history or political science usme obviously farak hota hai because it's easy to score if you are well prepared it's easy to score well in maths then let's say as compared to history or political science because of the subjective nature of those subjects so different subjects meant unequal chances why so because anyone let's say from pcm background also who physics chemistry maths se hai to he or she could also do let's say ba honors english or or bcom honors or ba honors economics as well theek hai तो वहां पर भी थोड़ा सा कंपैरिजन uh, हो जाता था अ कॉमन एडमिशन टेस्ट वाज बीइंग डिस्कस्ड तो नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी ऑफ 2020 और सब्सिक्वेंट एनटीए भी ऑब्वियसली टेस्ट लेना जेई uh, भी एनटी के अंदर आ गया नीट भी एनटीए के अंदर आ गया और एक नेशनल लेवल टेस्ट की कॉमन एडमिशन टेस्ट की बात हो ही रही थी एंड देन 
came CUT. CUT 2022 में पहली बार हुआ 2023 में लास्ट ईयर हुआ और अब 2024 में थर्ड एडिशन है CUT का अभी भी एग्जाम स्टेबलाइज हो रहा है काफी यूनिवर्सिटीज आ चुकी हुई है बहुत अच्छी यूनिवर्सिटीज आ चुकी है तो CUT UG is a mandatory test for taking admission into undergraduate bachelor's program offered by over 200 universities across India. तो बहुत बड़ा पेपर बन चुका है ये. Conducted by NTA, as I have told you, keeping subjects that you have in class 12th as the base. तो कोई extra burden नहीं है. जो 12th में आपके subjects हैं, जो भी आपने domains बेस रखे हैं, चाहे commerce है, चाहे science है, वो ही base मान कर. And some course specific requirement, which uh, you know I would be discussing. Some colleges still have their own exam. Abhi bhi, jaise Narsi Monji hai, ya uh, Symbiosis hai, ya Bombay mein Mumbai University hai, ya kafi or colleges hai uh, uh, Mumbai mein unke abhi uh, different examinations hai. CUT ke under abhi nahi hai. But major universities, badi universities north ki to definitely CUT ke under hai. South ki bhi hai, aisa nahi hai. More than 11 lakh students appeared for CUT 2023. So last year, 11 lakh students, uh, you know, appeared. Or as all of the numbers coming, so more will be able to know. So the problem is what? So it should be easy, na? CUT is coming, a common university entrance test is coming, a centralized test is coming. So students from south or from east, from north can, you know, apply to any university across India. Problem is that the paper, whether uh, कॉमन टेस्ट आ गया है मेरिट 12th का बोर्ड हटा दिया है स्टिल बच्चों ने बहुत अच्छा स्कोर किया क्योंकि इफ समवन इज गुड इन बोर्ड्स क्योंकि बोर्ड्स का ही बेस है इन टेस्ट का CUT का इफ समवन इज गुड इन बोर्ड समवन इज गुड इन हिज और हर ओन सब्जेक्ट तो ऑब्वियसली वो CUT में अच्छा भी करेगा तो यहां पर भी मार्क्स बच्चों ने बहुत स्कोर किए तो मैं कुछ CUT UG 2023 2022 as you can see in this English 100 percentile score tha aur marks 200 mein se 200 the. Malab full marks. See, see this English percentile score 100, marks 200, history, Paul science, psychology. Dude, bachcho ne tiyari, jinki tiyari hai to unko kisi bhi test mein, uh, aap unko test kar loge, wo achha hi perform karenge. See, English 100, accountancy 95.7 percentile. 174 marks, business studies 100 percentile, economics 100 percentile, English, accountancy, business studies. So, problem is that we have to do it. Now, here I will give a very important question. Generally, I will ask students, sir, there is no importance in the boards. 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 There is no importance but आप समझो CUT में जो domain paper है, let's say physics है, या accounts है, या economics है, या political science है, जो syllabus है, the syllabus is same as NCRT syllabus of CBSC. So if you have prepared well for your boards, invariably you will perform good in CUT. ऐसा तो नहीं है ना, if you have not performed well in your boards, you will do suddenly last two months. आप बोलोगे सर बोर्ड से तैयारी नहीं करते हैं। After the boards are over, one and a half months में हम we will prepare for CUT. जितना भी time मिलेगा, जैसे अभी boards over होने वाले हैं, you know 15th में से CUT है, so in one and a half months, no, जिसने एक साल से अच्छे से boards की तैयारी की है, वो जो सिर्फ अभी तैयारी start कर रहा है, in one and a half month, that student will not be able to catch up with the student who has been preparing for since last 10, 12 months. So, this is so wrong that the boards are important. Nahi hai. We will just ignore the boards and we will only focus for CUT. So, this is so wrong because you will not catch up. Nahi kar paoge. Pahla to point is the second point. Once you do your graduation, let's say you aim for masters in India. Let's say you target MBA examination in India through CAT, let's say. Now, once you target MBA and once you give CAT, once the IIMs, uh, jo top institutions and, uh, for, for, for MBAs in India are there, once IIMs call you for their second round of for interview or for their writing assessment test or whatever those tests are there, the, the weightage is given to 10th and 12th board marks as well at that point of time. So if you are academically good throughout your career in 10th and 12th also, that will also pay you afterwards. 
so it, it's not good to ignore you know goats it will hurt you because 12th ek bar karoge is 10th ek bar kiya 12th ek bar karoge so it will hurt you let's say after 3 years it will hurt you when your board marks will be considered for for various different admissions in various different higher studies so please uh, this is very important question you should understand you should never ignore your boards your parents will be very happy to to listen to these things and if you are prepare well for boards you will be well prepared for cut as well as i have shown you the marks as well theek hai aur kya dikkat hai ki taiyari to karni padegi kyunki cut ug 2023 kuch data main aapko batata hu so uh, overall 22836 students scored 100 percentile uh, last year अगर हम इंग्लिश की बात करते हैं तो 5,685 स्टूडेंट्स हैव स्कोर्ड 100 परसेंट टाइल इन इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश पेपर में और डेटा दिखाता हूं आपको अब ये डेटा देखिए सीयूटी यूजी 2023 का इंग्लिश में ओवर 5,000 थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स हैव स्कोर्ड 100 परसेंट टाइल टोटल सेवन लैख नाइनटीन थाउजेंड ऑप्टेड फॉर इंग्लिश एज देयर लैंग्वेज इफ यू टॉक ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी Thousand students have scored hundred percent in in accountancy subject, and one lakh fifty five thousand three hundred forty seven students appeared for accountancy. If you talk of biology, close to five thousand students uh, you know scored hundred percent tile, and close to three lakh students you know opted for biology as their their subject in CUT. If you talk of business studies, two three five seven, close to close to twenty four hundred students you know scored hundred percent tile, and one lakh sixty eight thousand students uh, you know appeared for business studies. chemistry 233 and more than 5 lakh students opted for chemistry as their as a domain paper economics 2836 is the 100 percentile and 186855 uh, students uh, you know opted for economics general test ki baat kare 36 students were able to score 100 percentile and 6 lakh 71000 and 574 students appeared and opted for general test so this is the data and if you see the 100 percentile and the amount of students uh, you know appearing for this test you will understand the, the value of the preparation some university under cut so there are many central universities funded by central government of india there are many state universities there are many deemed universities their admission through cut so aligarh muslim university baba saheb bhimrao b Uh, Bhim Rao Ambedkar University, uh, right? These are central universities in UP, Aligarh and Lucknow, right? Banaras Hindu University, so very good university, central university. Himbati, Nandan, Bahubana, Gadwal University, Jawaharlal Nehru University, University of Allahabad, University of Delhi, University of Hyderabad, Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, Technical University in in Lucknow in UP, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Delhi, it's a state university. Guru Gobind Singh Indra Prastha University, it's a state university in Delhi. Dayal Bagh Educational Institute, a deemed university, and Tata Institute of Social Sciences in Mumbai. It's it's a deemed university. Many good universities and many good programs. And these central universities, state universities. Uh, one thing you have to understand for these universities, the fees is very less, very less. You should always consider these options. Students go for private universities. Uh, I'm not saying they are bad. no i am not saying that they are good they, they give you good exposure but if you compare the fees and these are very good universities they are central universities good placements if you compare the fees i mean it's almost these days of inflation uh, you know it is almost free as far as the central universities and state universities are concerned you talk of higher education abroad let's say you talk of higher education in us or europe i mean the fees is एग्जॉबिडेंट बहुत ज्यादा फीस होती है और इंडिया में आपको सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज और स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटीज में अच्छे प्रोग्राम कम फीस में मिले यू शुड नेवर इग्नोर दैम आपके पेरेंट्स इस बात को सुनकर बहुत खुश होंगे बिकॉज इवेंचुअली फीस इंडिया में अभी भी हायर एटलीस्ट टिल ग्रेजुएशन यू नो पेरेंट्स स्पॉन्सर देयर किड्स इन इंडिया अब्रॉड इज अ डिफरेंट सिचुएशन स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर देयर हाई स्कूल आर ओवर दे थिंक ऑफ परसोइंग हायर एजुकेशन इधर बाई टेकिंग लोन और यू नो You know, funding for themselves. So, ये बहुत बड़ी बात है कि parents India में अभी भी graduation के लिए बच्चों को पढ़ा देते हैं. तो क्यों ना parents का सोच कर उनकी fees हमें कम रखनी चाहिए, right? Abdul uh, APJ Abdul Kalam uh, Technical Dr APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University. Yes, there are B Tech uh, B Tech programs also under CUT. So you can see B Tech. and these are the you know gen domain general optional languages map to the program cut mein aapko bataunga kya structure uska 
you can see all the job oriented courses bachelor of hotel management and catering technology bachelor of design so design yes there are national institutes nids national institute of designs also nifts but cut ke through bhi design mein achhi options hain vocational courses integrated mca integrated mba right all these programs are through cut now let's understand the test what is cut test all about so basics mode of examination hybrid mode pen and paper plus cbt so the paper can be in both uh, in computer based test format also in pen and paper uh, to democratize the cut test uh, the areas which are not as urban there is or semi urban areas which are rural areas where there is difficulty for reaching out to the, those students through technology the paper will be considered in pen and paper mode as well yes uh, nt has said that if the if the number of students are you know more than a certain threshold for example if number of students applying for a particular test is more than 1.5 lakh they will consider pen and paper also so that the students from rural areas should also be able to give this test in urban area it will be computer based test primarily right so the paper will be in both hybrid mode pen and paper as well as cbt computer based test merit list will be a uh, merit list will be prepared by the participating universities and organizations so individual universities obviously will prepare their own merit list so there are two aspects to cut one you have to appear for the cut test the other aspect of cut is you have to apply to the particular university also so for example you want to do a particular program in a particular college under delhi university for example let's say a bsc honors statistics from lady shriram uh, college for women okay bsc honors statistics so you have to fill first the cut form obviously see the eligibility for that program fill those subjects in cut form give the cut test and then after the university open their counseling portal you will have to apply to university of delhi also and select the preference for colleges also so there are two aspects for every university cut test mandatory for that university and applying the university afterwards and we will be there to guide you for that also here universities may conduct their individual counseling based on the score card of cut uh, ug provided by nta so there was there is discussion going on that they should have a centralized counseling the way it is being done for for engineering nits and medical college for through neet or je so the discussion is going on because there are many different universities see nit is one national institute of technology one body governed by one body so it's easy to integrate them it's a homogeneous system similarly many government medical colleges through neet i mean it's a, it's a stable system you know see the difference so there is university of delhi there is a banaras university there is a university of hyderabad so to integrate them it will obviously it will take time so you will keep on evolving and eventually i'm hopeful that you know in years to come they will have a common counseling portal also that you have to just fill the cut form fill one common counseling portal and through that common common counseling portals student from any year in india can apply to any university across india so that that is that will eventually be going to happen in years to come right as of now you have to fill university of delhi banaras university university of hyderabad and we'll keep on guiding you for that also eligibility for appearing for cut examination please do uh, understand this also uh, as far as eligibility is concerned the candidates who have passed class 12 let's say last year or maybe last to last year or an equivalent examination or are appearing for class 12th or an equivalent examination in 2024 are eligible 12th is mandatory no age limit i also appeared for first cut in 2022 so there is no age, age limit for lower or upper right one needs to check the eligibility criteria for a course university that is very very important you are filling a cut form why you are filling a cut form to do a particular course in a college through a university right so it's a common university entrance so you want to do a pursue a course in university so you need to check the eligibility of that university how that is how you will map the cut papers to that university so it's very very important to understand a particular course of a particular university as well the test basically three parts of the test three sections of the test section 1 section 2 section 3 Uh, so there are actually 33 languages 30 uh, uh, 33 languages 27 domain specific tests subjects and one general test so uh, they uh, cut if you see the cut form they have not divided section 1a 1b but to make you understand out of 33 languages 13 languages are there 
which will be offered as a language and also which will be offered as a medium as well. I will explain you. This is a technical part. I'll explain you. Don't worry. In upcoming slides, this will be clear. Section 1b, there are 20 languages which will only be offered as a language. 27 subjects domain with apart from language which you choose. Let's say you cho you have chosen physics, chemistry, maths or physics, chemistry, bio or accountancy, business studies, economics, political science, every possible you know subject which you have. 27 domain specific sets in this UT prospectus and they have added two more subjects also. They have added recently the notification came out. They have added to two more subjects. So there are actually 29 domain specific subjects they have added. Right. 27 was there in COT form. General test. So the right information is 29 specific domain specific tests are there. And the third section is general test. Now, how will you choose this? So you can choose maximum of six papers, four or five domain subjects, including general test and one or two languages. Candidates may choose a maximum of six subjects, including languages, Indian and foreign and general test. Note, it is advisable for candidates to select at least one language. So option one, I have given some options. These are not exhaustive options are given. You can choose one language, five domain and no GT. Six is maximum, one plus five, six. But option one is not at all advisable. Option two, one language, four domain and one GT. Option three, one language, three domain and general test. Option four, two languages, three domain, general test. Uh, but most optimum options should be, you know, I would say if you are in 12th, you have appeared for your 12th board this year itself. Then option two is the most optimum. Why so? Because in any case, you will be preparing for your board exams for four domains. Suppose you have taken accountancy, maths, economics, business studies. So in any ways taking four. Suppose you have taken physics, chemistry, maths, physical education. So four. In any case, you are preparing for four domains and one language and one general test. So option two is the most optimum. If someone is a dropper, someone has done 12th last year. Now, you, uh, for that kind of student, you know, you might not be willing to burden yourself for four domain subjects. So you can consider option three, one language, three domain, one GT. That is also perfectly fine. With option three also, you will be eligible for most of the programs under CUT, under various universities. So option three is also good. But if you are a fresher, you are appearing for 12th, option two would be the most optimum. Now, language I said, so 13 languages as language and medium. I'll explain. Don't worry. This is, a, this is a technical part. And 20 different languages are there. 45 minutes test. Questions to be attempted 40 out of 50. 200 marks paper. Negative marking will be there. One mark per incorrect answer. No marks will be awarded or deducted for leaving a question unattempted. Language tests will be in their own medium. Obviously, English language will be in English medium. Hindi language paper will be in Hindi medium. Sanskrit language paper will be in Sanskrit medium, obviously. You cannot have a Sanskrit language paper in English medium, right? So language test will be their own medium. These are the different languages. So 13 languages. So if you want to appear for physics paper, for example. So physics paper will be physics paper will be available in as a medium in 13 different languages. Assamese, Bengali. English, Gujarati, Hindi, Kannada, Malayalam, Marathi, Uriya, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, Urdu. So physics, every domain paper and general test, apart from languages, every domain paper and general test will be offered in two different mediums. So let's say you have chosen Bengali medium for your physics paper. So physics paper will be given, uh, offered to, uh, will be shown to you in English as well as Bengali medium. English medium will always be there. English medium will always be there. And suppose you have opted for English medium, then to it's okay, fine. Then to English medium milega. Suppose you have opted for Hindi medium. The paper will be given to you in English as well as Hindi medium. Right? So these 13 languages are there. You can opt for Bengali as a language paper also. And you can opt for Bengali as a medium for domain and general test also. These 20 languages, Arabic, Bodo, Chinese, Dogri, French, German, so on and so forth. These are offered only as language papers. 
these are not offered as medium of instruction for domain and generalized. I hope this thing is clear. So, right. So, 29 domains are available. 40 out of 50 questions to be attempted, 45 minutes paper. 200 marks paper, negative marking will be there. Now, these tests, which is section 2, which is domain, will be in two mediums, English and a medium opted by you, as I have discussed. Again, you can clear if there is any doubt from any of the 13 languages given in section 1. Example, if you opt for Bengali medium, you will get your test in Bengali as well as English medium. Maths, accountancy, physics, chemistry, economics, computers and general test, they would be of 60 minutes. They would be of 60 minutes. These papers are practical papers. You need to solve papers so that there will be numericals or questions based on you know, numbers. So that is why they will give you 60 minutes for these papers, maths, accountancy, physics, chemistry, economics, computer science, and general test. All these domain specific tests will be based on class 12th NCRT syllabus of the CBSC. So NCRT books are very, very important. Economics have some part of 11th also, but apart from economics, all the domain paper will be, you know, from 12th uh, board only. Okay, 12th NCRT books only. So science domain subjects are agriculture, anthropology, biology, chemistry, all these mathematics, physics, commerce domain, accountancy, bookkeeping, business studies, entrepreneurship, arts, humanities, economics, geography, geology, history, home science, knowledge, tradition, practices. So all these papers are there. So many options for science students also. Now let me talk about engineering per se because you don't have MBBS as of now under CUT because MBBS is Medical Council of India is there. There are many different regulatory bodies which, which you know, regulate the, the medical education in India. So, except for MBBS and dental, of course, all the medical degrees. You have BPharmacy under CUT. You have BTEC under CUT. Uh, yes, NITs have their own importance. They, they, those, those are national institution of national importance, IITs, NITs. Uh, if I talk of engineering degree, uh, someone, uh, you know, aiming for engineering. Yes, IITs are the best institutions as far as engineering is concerned, followed by NITs. But there are many other options also. If you are not able to get a good engineering college after your 12th through JE main or through JE advance, I would suggest you not to opt for a private university. Consider BTECs from... Uh, central universities through CUT, very less fees and decent placement. In private universities, the fees will be 10 lakh, 15 lakh, 20 lakh. And the placement will be 3 lakh, 4 lakh, 5 lakh. The same placement you will get with paying by paying a fees of 5,000, 10,000, you know, per semester or per annum. These, these level of less fees. And there are many, uh, you know, science courses, core science courses, BSc honors. Now, you might have opted for PCM and targeting engineering, but you might think no engineering is not for me you want to do something in in physics or chemistry or biology or biochemistry you have interest in those you don't have interest in technology please do read subjects which is being taught in btec just do not do btec or be for the sake of it read those subjects go in depth for them and see if those subjects interest you right else if you are a pure science student and love chemistry, love physics, go for these courses, BSc Honors Chemistry, BSc Honors Environmental Science, Physics, Polymer Science, Applied Physical Sciences are very good courses under Delhi University. You can always go for higher studies, MSc and research and UGC and go into academics and go abroad. There are many scholarships available for pure science students abroad also. So please do consider alternative options also. And these are very good alternative options. Hari options in the BSc honors Hans Raj mein, under Delhi University. Ye koi, ye koi, uh, you know, hari option nahi hai, hume NIT nahi mila to. Yes, if you are really focused for technology, BTEC, then go for technology. Otherwise, there are very good options. BSc honors uh, electronics, BSc honors instrumentation. You do BSc honors electronics or you do BSc honors computer science and go for MSc computer science under Delhi University. Job oriented courses, you will get a better package from uh, as compared to many engineering colleges. Right? So do consider these courses. BSc, BSc Honors Computer Science, BSc, BSc Honors Statistics. So there was a student of mine who did BSc Honors Statistics from LSR and Delhi University got a placement of 10 lakh rupees. 
इन डेटा एनालिटिक्स सो ऐसा नहीं है बी टेक आई टी एंड मैथमेटिकल इनोवेशन स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम नॉन यू नो नॉन साइंस बैकग्राउंड हैविंग मैथ्स इन इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ कैन ऑप्ट फॉर बी टेक आई टी एंड मैथमेटिकल इनोवेशन राइट तो बीटेक भी है अगर आपको बीटेक करना है और बीटेक आईटी में करना है वेरी गुड प्रोग्राम वेरी लेस फीस अंडरडेल यूनिवर्सिटी बीएमएस यू वांट टू गेट इनटू मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज बीबीए फाइनेंशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट एनालिसिस बीबी बीएससी ऑन जियोलॉजी ऑल दीज प्रोग्राम्स डू कंसीडर अंडरडेल यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली बीएचयू में ये प्रोग्राम्स है बीटेक इन डेयरी टेक्नोलॉजी बीटेक इन फूड टेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हैदराबाद में दे हैव इंटीग्रेटेड एमएससी प्रोग्राम्स इन मैथमेटिकल साइंसेस फिजिक्स and these are top universities institution of eminence institution of importance by government of india central universities less fees courses for science this is a central university for science btech yes btech computer science engineering yes you have to see the eligibility yes btech btech full fledged btech in electronics and electrical mechanical it integrated programs central university of karnataka btech electronics and communication do check out these options central university of jharkhand So they have integrated programs also B Tech plus M Tech both courses for commerce domain B Com honors B Com B B A B M S top institutions for B Com on top colleges rather for B Com honors under the University of Delhi Sri Ram College of Commerce Hindu College L S R Lady Sri Ram College Hans Raj Atma Ram Sanatan Dharam K M C Ramjas awesome colleges see the placement and many students from P C M background this is Chemistry Maths. They go for B honors economics and B com honors in SSCC. So companies, see, who I M S me companies are coming, consulting companies like Google, Microsoft, Deloitte, Accenture, Excel Technologies, Barclays, top notch banks, top notch consulting firms. SSCC placements last year highest package thirty five lakh, nearly forty percent increase in average salary. Has it got over two hundred twenty offers in phase one placement so far with median median package of fourteen lakh. Median means आधे students को चौदह लाख से ऊपर मिला है आधे बच्चों को 220 ऑफर्स में से 220 ऑफर्स हैं लेट्स से 200 स्टूडेंट्स हैं लेट्स से तो 100 बच्चों को 14 लाख से ऊपर पैकेज मिला है आज इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज में भी इतने पैकेजेस नहीं है राइट एवरेज सैलरी ऑफ 13 लाख आप चेक कर सकते हो किसी भी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज की वेबसाइट में जाके जहां पर वो प्लेसमेंट है यू कैन चेक दीस पैकेजेस ओवर देयर ह्यूमैनिटीज के लिए डीयू इलाहाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी बीएचयू बीए ऑनर्स इकोनॉमिक्स बी ऑनर्स जर्नलिज्म बी ऑनर्स इंग्लिश So, DU colleges for humanities, Sri Ram College of Commerce have two UG programs: BCom Honors and BA Honors Economics. Hindu College may be Honors English, BA Honors Economics, sub programs. Hai. And these colleges, Hindu College, Saint Stephen's, Merinda House, LSR, Hans Raj, yahan pe humanities ke students bhi, political science honors ki students bhi, civil services, UPSC, ye opt karte hain future mein apne career ka path ye choose karte hain. Aap LSR ke BA political science honors ke bachon ka career path dekho. देखो रिसर्च करो गूगल में आपको समझ में आएगा समवन फ्रॉम पॉलिटिकल साइंस ऑनर्स फ्रॉम एलएसआर कोई यूपीएससी में चले गया है समवन फ्रॉम जर्नलिज्म फ्रॉम एलएसआर कोई एनडीटीवी में काम कर रहा है कोई आज तक में काम कर रहा है सी द करियर पार्ट्स ऑफ देम पिक अप दोस पीपल आपको समझ में आएगा आई कैन ऑल्सो शेयर दो एग्जाम्पल्स बट थोड़ा सा आप भी देखो आपको समझ में आएगा वाई एम सेंग ऑल दीज ऑप्शन आर वेरी गुड ऑप्शन एंड ये हारी हुई ऑप्शन नहीं है नॉ कम टू जनरल टेस्ट दर्ड सेक्शन विच इज अगेन अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन जनरल टेस्ट इसमें क्वेश्चंस 50 आते हैं आउट ऑफ 60 टू बी अटेम्प्टेड रादर 60 क्वेश्चंस 50 टू बी अटेम्प्टेड 60 मिनट्स का टेस्ट है और 250 मार्क्स का पेपर होगा राइट right? क्या होता है जीटी में जनरल टेस्ट इज बेसिकली एप्टीट्यूड सो द क्वेश्चन पेपर विल कंटेन क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स सो जीके करंट अफेयर्स मेंटल एबिलिटी न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी रीजनिंग सिंपल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बेसिक मैथमेटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट्स क्वांटिटेटिव अरिथमेटिकल जबरा ज्योमेट्री मेंसुरेशन स्टैटिस्टिक्स कोई टेंशन वाली बात नहीं है 8th 9th लेवल का मैथ्स होता है उससे ज्यादा नहीं आता लॉजिकल एनालिटिकल रीजनिंग सो कैलेंडर बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम्स यू नो डायरेक्शन बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम्स कोडिंग बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम्स बहुत बेसिक बहुत डिफिकल्ट पेपर नहीं है ये अब जीटी के थ्रू ऑप्शंस हो कितनी ओपन होती है ये सारे कोर्सेज थ्रू जनरल टेस्ट है अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी या सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी वोकेशनल प्रोग्राम जॉब ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्राम इंग्लिश एंड जीटी रिक्वायर्ड बाबा साहेब भीमराव अंबेडकर यूनिवर्सिटी बीबीए GT, any language and GT. A Hindi medium student can also opt for, you know, BBA, BHU, vocational uh, programs like fashion technology, modern office management. These are all job-oriented courses. Fees is very less, four thousand fees, five thousand fees annually semester. English, Hindi, or any uh, other language and GT. Allahabad University, whoever is from Allahabad University, clearly apply. GT is must for all the courses. 
Dr. B. R. Ambedkar School of Economics, University of Bangalore. It's again, a, it's a state university, very good university, five-year integrated MS economics. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Delhi, BBA. Right? TIS, Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Bachelor of Social Work, Bachelor of Science in Analytics and Sustainability Studies. JNU, 10 foreign language programs. English and GT is required. DU, mein, B Honors Journalism, just like I said, LSR, mein. only Orbi Colleges, mein hai. only GT and English required. BMS, Bachelor of Management Studies, very big programs are BMS. This is the DU JAT hua karta tha test. Now, this is through CUT. You need to offer English, Maths is compulsory and GT. B honors business economics, English, maths is compulsory plus GT, BBA, FIA, BTEC, IT and M mathematical innovation, BWOG, BCOM, BA program, Allahabad University, all the programs. This Bharti University, Bengal, mein, Shanti Niketan, these programs, BSc physical education, yoga, BA foreign language programs. There are many good career options through foreign language, bachelor in social work, bachelor of rural studies. Bachelor in Design, Diploma in Fine Arts, Devi Ahilya, formerly in Dhar University, it's a state university, very good university again, BLLB Honours, 5 years, MBA, Integrated Program, 5 years, Section 1 English, Section 3 GT. See the importance of GT. Delhi University, mein jo BMS program hai, ya BBA program, hai. top notch institutions, Shaheed Sukhdev College of Business Studies, Shaheed Sukhdev College of Business Studies, the programs they offer is BMS and BBA FIA, Deen Dayalogadhyay College, BMS. So all these programs, and if you see the placements of these programs, DU's Shaheed Sukhdev College of Business Studies, student receives the highest package of 18 lakh rupees. See, 200 plus offers, average package, 8.32 lakh. Kisi engineering college ko aaj packages beat kar sakte hain. Kafi engineering college ko beat kar sakte hain, of course. All these companies, Bain, BCG, McKinsey, ye companies IIMs mein jati hain. Right? You say, sir, I am going to go. If you get a good graduation from a good college, then you can get a CAT. And if you get a good score in the final year, then you have a job option. After a few years, after a graduation, you can get a CAT crack. If you go to a good undergraduate college, then obviously, the benefit is a lot. And this program, B.Tech. Information Technology and Mathematical Innovation. Offered at CIC, Cluster Innovation Center, under University of Delhi, designed to inculcate an innovation mindset, four years course, entrepreneurship mindset be inculcate karega, CUT mein aapko, koi language, koi language, chahi English ho, chahi Hindi ho, chahi Tamil ho, any language, maths is compulsory or applied maths plus section three of CUT, general test. BSc Honours Computer Science. A non-science student, pure science student can opt for BSc Honours Computer Science. Any one language, Maths plus any two subjects. Any two subjects from domain, any two. So this is where it gets interesting. So once you prepare for CU, uh, general test of CUT, which is aptitude, you have a lot of aptitude well paper. Ki bhi ho jati. So many colleges, top colleges have aptitude based entrance test. For example, unka syllabus English, Quant or Logical Reasoning, same as English and GT in CUT. So these colleges are JIPMET, I am both Gaya and I am Jammu, a five-year integrated program. So I have not added I am Indore over here because I am Indore ka difficulty level obviously very difficult hai. Uske liye a good amount of time, good duration of time ka preparation ki zarurat hai. Thik hai? Main ye nahi keh raun, JIPMET is, uh, uh, test of uh, JIPMET is similar to the GT of CUT. GT of CUT is very easy but when, if you prepare for GT for CUT or thoda difficulty level bada ka prepare karte ho, so you can also, you know, Think of these tests and management is a very good career option. IP Matt Rotak, Christ University ka apna BB ka test hota hai, Guru Gobind Singh Indra Prasad University ka apne test hote hain, wo admission through CUT bhi lete hain, apne test bhi hote hain. Symbiosis ka BBA ke test, NPAT, Narsi Monji ke UG programs, jo BBA, wo NPAT hota hai. Hotel management ka jo program hota hai, uska test hai. Mass common ke kai colleges ke hain, to agar aap GT ki tiyari karte ho, to ye aapke saari tiyari ho jati hain. So CUT ko halke mat lo, don't take it lightly, it's a very important paper, many students I know, bolte hai sir, are backup hai, sir, hamara to focus CLAT hai, hamara focus IP mat hai, this is backup, are bhai ye backup nahi hai, ye bhoat achhi options hai, aur CLAT ki baat agar mainne ki hai, so these are the options available through CUT, 5 year integrated programs in law, 
क्लैट ऑफकोर्स नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटीज हैं अगर उसमें अनफॉर्चुनेटली नहीं अच्छा रैंक आता है तो देर इज ऑलवेज अ गुड ऑप्शन थ्रू सी यू टी फॉर फाइव ईयर बी एच यू बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी बी एल बी ऑनर्स इंग्लिश या हिंदी प्लस लीगल स्टडीज प्लस जनरल टेस्ट ठीक है देवी अहिल्या विश्वविद्यालय बी ऑनर्स एल एल बी इंग्लिश प्लस जनरल टेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अलाहाबाद बी एल एल बी ऑनर्स लैंग्वेज टेस्ट इन हिंदी इंग्लिश प्लस लीगल स्टडीज प्लस जनरल टेस्ट तो बहुत ऑप्शन है तो मेरा यही कहना है इस सेशन में कि डू नॉट कंसिडर सी यू टी एज अ बैकअप ऑप्शन मेक इट एज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट गुड ऑप्शन तब अच्छे से तैयारी करोगे एज आई डिस्कस मेनी ऑप्शन राइट वील कीप ऑन ब्रिंगिंग दीज काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेटिव सेशन ऑन आई एम एस सी यू टी चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल शेयर और स्टे ट्यून ऑल द बेस्ट प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर यूर सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर वील बी देयर with you for your all queries and guidance thank you god bless thank you once again